So this is the first video where I will be working on my shopping cart drift cart turbo build. So I have the turbo in here and I already have flange made for it right there. I just finished painting it and it is dry. I painted it last night. That's so I can actually mount the turbo onto the exhaust here where that red plug is. But today I'm going to be working on installing a new jet in the carb to be able to add more fuel into the mixture. The reason I'm doing this is because when you turbocharge an engine, it forces more air into the cylinder, which then leads to a more lean mixture where there's more air to fuel ratio, which means it won't run properly. So to counter that, uh, I'm adding a bigger jet so it allows more gas. To replace the jet on a Predator 212 engine or most Honda clones, you're going to want to go to the carburetor and there will be this bowl at the bottom right here and there's a bowl underneath which holds it to the carb and inside of there, there is the jet. So I'm going to turn off the fuel cutoff because I don't want gas flowing all over my floor from the tank from when I remove the bowl, but there is still fuel in the bowl from what has gone in before we turned off the fuel cutoff valve. So you do want to be mindful of that and it's probably going to spill. So just have stuff ready to clean it up. I have this soda can that I cut the top off of with a can opener and I'm going to hold it underneath here. So when I take the bolt out, I can catch any fuel that might spill out so it doesn't go all over my floor. Now I'm believing this bolt right here is a 10 mil. So let's go find out. All right, now that I have both hands free, I'm going to try to crack this loose and see if I can get it off. Oh, I'm going to keep twisting it until a little bit of fuel starts coming out. And then I'm going to place the, oh, there we go. So I'm going to place the can underneath and then I'm going to slowly unscrew the bolt and try to catch any fuel that might be dripping. So I'm just going to keep unscrewing it here. And okay, so the whole bowl came out, so there's still fuel in there. So I'm going to place it down on the ground. Unfortunately, I need both hands so you can't watch what's going on, but I'm going to place the bowl inside of the can and Try to drain all the fuel in there as you can see it's a perfect fit actually the bowl fit perfectly into a soda can with the top cut cut off So I'm just gonna let it drain in there and uh, just kind of let it do its thing and try not to make a mess So right up here is actually the float that controls the fuel flow into the bowl for the carburetor uh, so it just kind of floats on top of fuel and when it goes low it needs more right there is where the jet is so i'm gonna need a flathead to take that out now i have my flathead screwdriver and i'm just gonna go in there and i'm just gonna try to unscrew it as you can see i got it right here so it was a little difficult to see so i had to crawl underneath uh, so i'm just unscrewing it right now i'm going to try to take it out without dropping it because it is a small piece and i don't want to lose it you can see how small it is right there so let's go grab the other jet and uh let's check it out so this is the jet i just took out which has quite a small hole i mean it should it's the stock jet it's set for what it's set for and then over here i have my new jets that i got off of amazon there's two different sizes one slightly bigger and then one that's a little bit bigger and then it just depends on how much gas it allows in so i'm going to be putting in the bigger one which i'm just trying to see right here and then you can kind of see a little bit there's that size hole there and then compare that to the other one the old one that i took out you can see the difference in hole size so it will let a lot more fuel into the carburetor going for a richer mixture, but once you have the air from the turbo being pushed in there, it'll average back out and it should have a pretty good mixture. And then this is the main jet, which also comes with it. All right, I just need to crawl under the cart first. I have the same screwdriver I used before and I have a flashlight just to make it easier to see it is quite difficult. I'm staring at the lights on the ceiling, which is making it a little hard to see into the hole that I need to put the jet into. So I'm just gonna prop it there. And I'm first gonna put the jet in right on the tip of the screwdriver and just kinda slide it up in there, just like that. I'm putting it right in the groove. 
and I'm gonna get it in there and then I'm gonna be careful when I get the first couple threads in to make sure I don't cross thread it because that would not be fun at all and I could destroy the carb. So I'm just gonna put that in there and slowly just start twisting. If I feel any resistance, I'm gonna stop, but I'm not feeling any, so it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep on going up and then it should start tightening up a bit and then I'm just gonna turn it a little bit more just to snug it up, just so it doesn't rattle its way out. So I'm just gonna snug it up right there and that should be good. I'm just double checking one more time. All set. So now what I need to do is reinstall the bowl back into the carb and it should be all set. All right, so now I have my bowl and I'm gonna reinstall it. So I'm just gonna slide it up into place and then I also have the bolt in there and I'm literally just twisting it back into place with my finger, making sure that drain bolt is uh, pointed to the back so I have easy access to it. And then I'm just gonna hand tighten it with a 10 mil wrench and just snug it up and make sure it fits all right. You don't wanna over tighten this because you can strip out the threads and you can also crush the bowl. So you just want it pretty snug. You don't wanna go crazy on it. I don't know if there's a torque spec to be honest, but there might right, be. Now that I have it all tightened up, we should be able to run this. So I'm gonna set it up and uh, let's see if we can get it running. There's a nice look of the fuel that I spilled on the floor because I kind of knocked the can over. That's all I had left. There's a lot more in there, but yeah, that's the install. So I have the go-kart rolled out. Has the new jet in it. So let's start it and see how she runs. Yeah, it's definitely a lot richer than it was. You can see by the flames constantly shooting out of it. So that's definitely ready for the extra air from the turbo. So that is awesome. So unfortunately, as you could probably tell, a lot of the clips, their audio was corrupted. So I had to do a voiceover for pretty much the entire video, which was not the plan to begin with and not a great start, especially being the first episode of this series. But stuff happens and you got to work with it. So... I did my best and hopefully you guys still enjoyed but I really appreciate you staying watching to the end learning stuff along with me and I really hope you enjoyed now make sure you check out the next video which is actually going to be installing the turbo I'm gonna be bolting it onto the flange that I made so make sure you check that out and have a good one see you